Yeah. 
Thanks.
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Yes, the problem is that 
atrás parece que no tiene el nombre yes good morning my name is Aide Castillo I am a feminist and I'm part of the blue and white movement in Nicaragua I would like to thank the panel And I would like Mr. Richard to give a comment with regard to what he mentioned, that the United States unified the opposition in 2007, but failed when Ortega returned to power. Because I think that um, in our readings, maybe the failure was a result of the support of the U.S. Embassy towards the pact between Arnoldo Aleman and Daniel Ortega. Now that because we do a very deep analysis and given the crisis that we're living now, I think it has its beginnings in that pact um, that we saw when the United States was involved. Something else that I would like to ask you and any of the panelists can respond. What readings do you do with regard to the current U.S. policies with regard to Venezuela and Nicaragua? So how are you reading them within the current context? And then I would just like to say quickly that before the April crisis, We did have a visit. I live in the Northern Territory where Sandino started his fight with the co cooperative movement with Segovia along the um, Honduran border. And the U.S. ambassador visited us, um, the previous ambassador, because there were a lot of concerns that the crisis didn't start in April, but you know, much before. I think that this started with the um, selective assassinations, etc. So we spoke with that ambassador and she said, or she asked what the U.S. could do in order to support um, this um, change in situation in Nicaragua. And she said that in Nicaragua, all of the political parties were for sale. And I would like to mention that because I think that there is some sort of rationalization that the U.S. policies have always kind of depended on internal allies within our country. But I would tell her that maybe this is a great opportunity so that for the first time, the U.S. could have an intervention, even though I don't like that word, but they can ha do an intervention within Nicaragua, but that it would have a positive effect. Because I think that never in its story, in its history, when the U.S. has intervened, have they had long-term effects that have actually improved the conditions of our country. And so I think that, as a woman, I would like to see if it was po possible for her to see this different perspective and what support this social movement, this woman's movement, this campesino movement, and the civil society movement could be supported. So I think that we were speaking quite honestly. But maybe you can 
talk um, about that in Yeah. <laughs> 